Hello everybody. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is for you. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you guys are on this game having a good time. Today I got a good video here. I'm going to share a couple driving tips for you guys. The first two tips go in with each other. They're very important. And uh, what those two tips are is to drive like you are invincible to everybody else on the road. And knowing your position on the road and always having an exit plan. Now what I mean by that is you should always be prepared for people to cut you off, slam the brakes, or hit you from behind. Or, for example, right now, stop traffic. If you drive like you are invincible to everybody else, all that means is that you are ready for people to do anything to you at any given time because they do not see you on the road. That's all that means. The second one is knowing your position on the road. So, for example, if I move up to this middle lane, not only do I know I'm in the middle lane, I also know... That on the right, I'm between the Volkswagen and the Escalade, so if someone flies behind me, I can just cut in here and I'm good to go. Having an exit plan by knowing your position on the road is very important. Right now, I'm wedged between two people, but if somebody comes up behind me, I can go in here. You don't even have to see it all the time. You just have to know what your exit plan is and your position on the road and where you're going to go if things get bad. Now, this is just a game... But what I just said will help anybody that hasn't learned that yet. Because in real life, it's the kind of stuff you don't learn in the books, man. People aren't out here teaching you this kind of stuff. This is stuff that you learn. And I, I hate to say it, but, you know, everybody that's a car enthusiast that's young and has a fast car. This is things that you develop and you learn yourself from making mistakes. And knowing how to fix them and why they happened. And being open to error. Not everybody's perfect. Error happens Young people get in these fast cars, they make mistakes. Older people make mistakes, experienced people make mistakes. You know, there's a video on YouTube of a, of what appears to be a 50-plus-year-old male, and he crashes his Viper racing uh, on Integra with a, a what looks like a stock B18 with the hood off. And, you know, you just have to think, how do these things happen? They happen from not knowing the road, not knowing your position on the road, and not being aware of stuff that's going to happen and having that exit plan that I'm talking about today. So those are the two tips that are extremely important that are well, they're going to improve your driving in real life. They'll improve your driving in the game. I live by those. So the third tip here, and not everybody knows this, but uh, common courtesy on these maps with traffic is not to force cuts that you can't make or that you know you're going to be hitting things on. Again, it's knowing your position on the road. If you know your position on the road and you know you can't make a cut, there's no point in actually going for that cut because when you force it, you're going to tap the vehicles and what people need to get is that tapping vehicles stops them to, st it makes them stop. So if I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make some sort of cut, I don't have anything, it would be reasonable for me to just wedge in here, move over when I can, not hit anything, and not force a cut at a high speed. That is a perfect example of what you should do. So, with that being said, it's not saying come out here and drive perfect and don't make mistakes. It's just about having the respect for the people around you. I drive like crazy when there's nobody around me, but when there's people around me, I do understand that making them crash, you know, two or three times in a run just due to my own error... That's that's not going to be fun for the other guy all the time, right? So, I don't care myself personally. I understand everyone's having fun, but there are some people that get upset about it, and I've been in a lot of really dumb arguments with people about this kind of stuff for no reason. So, just be aware of that. The other tip that I'd like to give today is the field of view. A lot of people like to run a high field of view, 80+. plus. That makes it so things in front of you actually get shrunk and pushed back further away from you. The field of view doesn't actually just make you see things wider. It makes you see things wider by compensating with a smaller image. So if you're getting compensated with a smaller image, as you can imagine, things are approaching you faster as you're coming up to them. There's more of a distance gap between things because they're smaller than you think that there is. I play on 60 field of view. That means I have no issue 
coming right up to this guy's bumper, and I know exactly when I need to slow down, when I'm not going to hit him. I know when I can fit. I know when I can't fit, I can get right down to pretty much the inch. If you're in a high field of view, the car in front of you, you'll be driving the same distance away, but it will look something like this instead, because that image is shrunken and extended in front of you, you will clip more cars in a higher field of view. However, if you get used to it over a lot of hours of playing, it's just whatever you're comfortable with. Personally, myself, I like to see right in front of my car. I like to know when exactly I can get over, when I have the room, and that's how it is. So, that's a big tip to have. Another tip is the faster you are going, the smaller gaps that you can actually make. Now, you have to think about it like fitting a rectangle through two rectangles. If you take this front car right now and turn it into a rectangle, and then you take this other car in front of me right now and turn that into a rectangle, the faster me being a rectangle is going, the more I can get it through diagonally of a gap. The more diagonal you can cut, the more tighter cuts you can make. Now, for some vehicles, that might just mean that when you go to hit that cut, you whip it in and you cut in on that angle. You get that angle to cut with before you cut, just like that. You whip in, you get the angle for the cut. That's some, how it's done sometimes. If you can get that car to cut with the angle, you will make tighter cuts at the expense of having to maneuver that vehicle after you make that cut because it's very likely that your vehicle will get a little loose while you're cutting like that. So hopefully everybody here today takes something out of this video. I'm only here to help people out in this community and to be somebody that people can come to for help and be a friendly person in this group. So if you need anything, if you want some help, if, you, if you're not quite getting settings right or you know you need just anything, feel free to hit me up on my Discord, feel free to join my community, feel free to join the communities that I am in. I mostly play on Push and P, No Hezzy, Velocity, and Venus Motorsport, which is another good server, especially if you want to get into some serious F1 racing and stuff like that. Alright, so stay driving everybody, stay gaming, don't kill anybody on these streets, there's no reason to hit an electric leaf or to almost get myself killed by that BMW that just fucking flew past me at 300 miles an hour and smashed into everything up here. Oh my god, that is exactly what I'm talking about, boys. What great timing. Holy. Have a good day, everybody. Take care.